In the framed picture behind the pigs, why is it so creepy? Well, the picture. No way, that's the father hanging as a saucy. No, man. Alright, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. Today we got top 15 creepy secret messages in cartoons, man. Let's get straight into it. Number 15, A113. Oh, no, why you sound like that? a secret message in several films in the form of numbers. A secret message. Oh, title. no. Why does he sound like that? Number 15. <laughs> someone who works at Disney would understand well and now all of us who I are guess it know, matches the tone the man of the A113 vid it's supposed to be appears creepy and eerie Disney right movie if you were to watch all the movies and catch this secret message you might find it creepy and a little frightening you might ask yourself what does it mean? Are they trying to tell us something? You might start spinning out, going crazy, trying to find out what this code means, why it appears everywhere, from Toy Story to Finding Nemo to Monsters University and loads of other their Pixar Studios and Disney picks. It turns out this code leads back to Disney headquarters when employees become visual artists at Disney. They take classes oh, in room A113. It really is every 14. Illuminati. That's not really like creepy though. That's more like a, you know, an Easter egg. Just when you least expect it, the Illuminati appears. This time, in Illuminati. the form of secret messages in the classic cartoon The DuckTales, in the Yuppie Ducks episode of The DuckTales, which aired in November of 1989, a sign appears in the background of the scene with the ominous phrase, Ask about Illuminati. In the episode, oh. Scrooge McDuck heads to the doctor to get checked out because he's not feeling well. In the background of the doctor's office where that Scrooge is, is undergoing his examination is an eye chart. That's you know, his one of those charts with the big E on the top to check your eyesight. Only this time, the chart is no innocent eye chart. It's a message telling children to inquire about this top secret group. The creepy secret message is fuzzy, so ironically, only those with good eyesight would make it out. The eye chart message is found in multiple scenes during the Yuppie Ducks episode, and this episode aired during a time when the general public weren't aware of occultism so much, including the Illuminati. Yeah, when did this? This is an old, like, DuckTales is old, right? When was the Illuminati, like, I swear that's a new organization, or that's a new group, like a new concept? Oh, oh. In Freemasons was one of the duck. Imagine they've been about this whole time. Was he or she Probably warning have. us? We'll never know. But this isn't the only controversial secret message that appears in the DuckTales. Several different hidden symbols appear in the franchise's movie as well. Number 13. The Devil's Dog. Eagle-eyed viewers of Disney movies have noticed that a number of the Disney characters do a similar oh. hand gesture known as the devil's dog. All right, wait, wait. Isn't that the, the gesture like that they assume these uh, rappers are doing? What's that one with the like the tongue that like Megan Thee Stallion, all these female artists and everything like Lil Uzi Vert, they be doing and like, they be saying like that's how they worship the devil. Is that that type of that type of stuff? Then you telling me they drawing it too? Damn. Everyone from Jasmine to Snow Damn. White to the fairy godmother to Cinderella has been spotted using this gesture that's tied in with Satan worshiping. But bro, isn't that I ain't never doing that shit again? Not but bro, isn't this head gesture like rock and roll? <laughs> Damn, they just trying to they trying to gatekeep every freaking sign, bro. We can't throw nothing in pictures. Like, you can't, bro, we can't even throw up this, like, deuce or peace or, like, nothing. Like, everything's going to be, like, a hidden sign or a hidden message at some point. The gesture appears like the devil's horns, and once you see it, you can't unsee it. As most critics say, if it had happened with a character or two, it might just be a coincidence, but being that it pops up in a number of films, Ooh, it, does. it does seem quite suspicious. Is Ooh. Disney trying to tell Ooh, what the hell? 
Okay, when you see an eerie painting like this, one of these like old school like Renaissance paintings like this, it kind of adds a little bit more. Uh, uh, what's that word? But it's more, it's more valid, you know. <laughs> it's like it kind of adds a little bit more evidence to the fact that this might be a uh, actually uh, actual, you know. Uh, what did they say? Illuminati was it Illuminati or like something eerie? I don't know what the hell it is, bro. But damn, tell us something. Number twelve. It's a cult. Don't drop. The horrors of prison life shouldn't be a punchline in a kid's show, should they? Well, validity. Yeah, that's the word I was thinking of. Thank you. SpongeBob has no filter. In one episode, SpongeBob innocently hands Gary his pets a bar of soap. Then, with a big beaming smile on his face, he gives Gary a wink and tells him not to drop it. Look, the balloons. Don't drop them. Don't drop the soap, as most know, is a warning not Yo, don't tell me. I never knew there was a don't drop the soap joke in SpongeBob, bro. All cartoons, man. <laughs> To get assaulted in the prison shower, bending over to retrieve your soap puts you in a vulnerable position, thus the phrase. <laughs> so why does this disturbing this line appear in what's supposed to be so a cartoon funnier. for children? Your guess is as good as mine, but what we do know is that Spongebob has a very dark sense of humor. Number 11. Your father will die. While well, cartoons often have moral messages for children, some want to teach children the realities of life, no sugarcoating. Don't know if that's what Disney was trying to do with the three little pigs, but they did, and it wasn't very subtle. Historically, the cartoon was one of the most successful, bringing animation to life. The response from Disney audiences was huge, thus paving the way for Disney to continue churning out fairy tales over the years. If you watched the animated fairy tale from 1932, you might not have noticed the secret message, even though it was right before your very eyes. For this too, you must have a sick sense of humor. The scene in question occurs when the three little pigs are trying to escape to the last house, the brick one, as the big bad wolf is after them, when the wolf is unable to huff and puff and- Yo, Monty, did you actually say yeah? Like, come on, bro. Come on, chat. Tio. Blow their house down. The three pigs are undoubtedly grateful. They start singing and dancing while one of the pigs starts playing Dark a sense of humor, piano. Right? It's safe to say they're all thrilled that the wolf won't be able to eat them. Not all is joy and sunshine in this scene, however. For some reason, Disney animators decided it was best to bring everyone down with a detail in the framed picture behind the pigs. Why is it so creepy? Well, the picture. No way, that's the father hanging as a sausage. Nah, man, nah, 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 nah. I didn't even notice. I didn't even clock on, bro. I didn't even clock on to that, bro. That's messed up, man. That's messed up as hell, though. <laughs> Looks yummy. Hey, kind of do pause, bro. <sighs> Cause it's a sausage, right? Like, bro, there's no normal way to eat a sausage, a glizzy. Like, like the, like a glizzy. Like, chat, how do you eat a glizzy without like looking sus? You know what I'm saying? Those are the real questions in life that we need to be answering. You know. Pictures of the pig's <laughs> father. At least that's oh, what the caption man. says. Without that caption, you wouldn't be able to tell who the photo is, as it's just a string of three What's sausage What's up, my boy? Links. Yep, that's right. The little three little pig's his father bit. was led to the slaughter, and Disney animators have memorialized him with this joke. Don't know about you, but if my dad was executed and eaten, I wouldn't be hanging a framed picture of his remains. I'm saying. If their secret message was, your father will die someday, then I have one word for you, Disney. Creepy, just creepy. Number nine, September 11th. The Simpsons is known to have predicted the a number of future events from the election. Oh, we've been known this though. Like Simpsons been predicting stuff. Like it's not even a shocker. They have all the like creepy hidden messages. I've seen too many of those. Let's see which one they talking about. Like, look at this one, bro. This is literally crazy.
This is predicted 15 years in advance, bro. Like, what? ...of Trump to the fateful events on September 11th, 2001. They have a bit of a sixth sense, if you will. But there was another cartoon that predicted the events on September 11th. Oh, and it's talking about 9 11? One. Does anyone here remember Johnny Bravo? Yeah, I do. Johnny, Johnny Bravo, Bravo was, was that nigga, though. Oh, God. Yo, he was that dude. I don't care what nobody says, he was actually that dude, man. Popular late 90s, early millennial cartoon about a guy called Johnny with big blonde hair, slicked back, black t-shirt, tight jeans, and always wearing shades. I don't think he ever removed them. In one episode of this cartoon, Johnny was throwing down with another character. During their scuffle, the background shot showed a tall tower, eerily reminiscent of the Twin Towers, with fire blasting out the middle, smoke plumes dark in the scene, and above the tower, the words coming soon. Send a chill up your spine. Yikes, is there a conspiracy? Was someone Kind of reminds me of those uh, AI posters that's not training. Have you seen that one called Towers, bro? <sighs> Trying to warn us. Number eight, Unsolved Murder. Reddit is a great place to go when you're looking for all things creepy, especially for hidden signs and secret messages and everyday things, including cartoons. One Reddit thread discussed the cartoon film, The Emperor's New Groove, and true to form, Redditors were full of theories. One Redditor, Lish94, said, Well, Kuzgo is walking in the forest in his llama form. He sees the fly screw. Bro, like, look at this shit, man. Twins. Kind of remind me of those, like, the poster. The coming up. Anyway. <laughs> Screaming, help me, before it gets devoured by a spider. Now this is done for comedic value in the film, but I think it's something much darker. He went on to explain that this some of the animals in the film facts. were originally human. They were turned into animals, as Kuzco was. Yzma, for instance, was a cat. Well, Kuzgo was a donkey, but those animals who are actually animals aren't able to communicate with the human-animal hybrids. You see this when they were trying to communicate with a squeaking squirrel, and they only understand what he was trying to tell them through gestures. They weren't fluent in squirrel. The fly spoke as a human would. Kuzco understood the fly, so the Redditor theorized that the fly was originally human, and this spider in fact murdered him. Damn! Another human RIP. animal hybrid out yeah, I know him, I ain't know the nigga, but damn, RIP! <laughs> and just out for an afternoon snack, this secret message was so subtle that the unsolved murder mystery has gone cold. Number 7. Everything Must Die Teaching human beings to come to terms with passing away can be a good thing. It is a pretty profound experience secondhand, and we can only imagine firsthand. But is four years old the right time to have this knowledge? Probably not. Thomas the Train thinks it is. Uh, Thomas, Thomas the Tank Engine was my, was my shit, man. As a kid, I love Thomas the Tank Engine. Friends, the famed books and TV series about talking trains place some strange imagery into its cartoon. The TV series involves trains. Yeah, but now that I think about it, these, these, uh, it was kind of weird. It was kind of eerie. Like, look how the trains look. They look kind of scary in my opinion. Like, at least for a kid. I don't think, I didn't think that back then though. Think uh, they I can and do try their best as this big man in the top hat pushes them to work harder. Once they've worked hard, you'd expect them to live a relaxed retirement, wouldn't yeah, Dre, you? I'll watch that the after corporate door. man does not have any such end in mind for his trains. So where do trains go when they've aged and can no longer pull those heavy wagons of coal anymore? They go to the incinerator. The yep, you've heard yeah. that right. In one episode, yeah. Stepney the Bluebell Engine has grown too old to pull his weight so he's taken to the Damn. scrapyard, a massive metal graveyard where old trains are scrapped for parts. They're bought. Bro, it's kind of like uh, Toy Story though. Toy Story 3, where they all get like, you know that scene? All right, bro, when I saw it for the first time, I literally thought they were all gonna die, man. I was, I was sad, I was sad. Glad they didn't. But yeah, it's kind of similar vibes, bro. I feel like, bro, five-year-olds watching this, it's not that bad. I mean, shit. They gonna learn about death one day. 
bodies melted into new train pieces and the rest left to rest in their living grave. The grossest part of this well, episode this is kind of like murder, though, ain't it? <laughs> ensured that children know how much pain, so maybe, sadness, nah, maybe and fear so. the trains were in as they were taken apart and blowtorched. The even creepier part. One train in the back. Oh, yeah, nah. If this, if this creepy ass nigga is watching us like this, yeah, I can't lie. No, this shouldn't have been shown to kids, bro. He literally, this is the guy getting paid to kill these trains. Nah, look at him. Smile on his face. He happy as hell to see this train get murdered. Absolutely torched in flame. Why are you so happy, cuz? background even had its face removed its face they're like hannibal lecter at this scrap yard skinning the faces of their victims so basically the trains are tortured Literally. alive their good parts are harvested and then they're left to die or to do whatever trains do i don't know and thomas the train isn't telling number Damn. six all seeing That's eye creepy, and I the masons love. In the Disney film The Ant Bully, two things are a bit amiss Aunt in Bully? a children's film. The all seeing Whoa, who watched this, Chad? Because I did not watch this. Matter of fact, I don't think I've heard of this. I knitted into the grandma's sweater and the symbol of the Masons carved into her chair back. This was discovered on Reddit when Redditor Norman Dia posted the image of the chair back on the conspiracy board. Many Redditors commented that it wasn't strange to have a Freemason grandpa who doesn't, while others said that it doesn't seem too far off because the grandma was obsessed by aliens and UFOs and was into conspiracy theories. Others think the writers or graphic artists were likely conspiracy nuts. Yeah, I'm skipping this one, bro. The bottom rung members, and it gets creepier the higher up it goes. Number 5, 5318008. If you've seen the animated series Avengers Adventure Time, Time then perhaps you've spotted friends. this creepy hidden message in one episode. In this episode, Ice King has frozen Princess Bubblegum's kingdom. She must defrost the kingdom before it's too late. If she doesn't succeed, all her people will be icicles. So Princess Bubblegum does what any princess would do and pours over the ancient book, looking for the counter curse to the Ice King's horrible evil. As she's flipping through the book, she finally lands on it, the counter curse, and on the opposite page, the number. Oh, I've seen this one. It, it spells out boob. Ah, ah inside, inside joke. Ah, ah. Yo, the animators, they thought they were funny. They were probably some slick perverts, man. <laughs> At Dora seems jokes. like the most innocent of characters, big brown eyes and always with a smile Dora. on her face, always trying to solve puzzles or go on quests. But is she innocent? Or does this series have a deep dark secret? Some people say so. Specifically, those who reverse the Dora the Explorer theme song. Some insist that, played backwards, oh, nah, don't do this, the man. song is sending the secret message. Hail Satan. Huh? Of course, this is not the first time satanic messages have been discovered in songs. When played backwards, a number of bands have been accused of hiding here? satanic messages in the reversal of their music. But very few children shows have been accused of it. Dora's kind of on a blacklist all her own. Do you think there's a hidden message in this mumbo jumbo? Listen and judge for yourself. I'm on the fence with this one. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> now they reaching. They reaching on that one. I'm sorry. The rest of these ones, I... Bro. Most of the ones we watched, almost all of them, I can kind of get behind. That one they reaching, bro. They reaching like like shit, man. I don't know why they trying to make Dora out to be some evil, creepy, hell Hitler type. No, no. Number three, Gravity Falls cryptograms. Gravity Falls is a newer Disney cartoon TV series. Now Gravity series, Falls, this was a show. In June huh. 2012. This one I believe the they had some is about secret messages for show. Dipper and Mabel Pines, who are summer vacationing with their great uncle, Grunkle Stan. Stan runs the mystery shack in Gravity Falls, and they help their uncle run it. They also uncover some mysteries, mysteries that are often accompanied by the paranormal and the supernatural. At some nah, point, this was a Dipper gash, finds though. a journal in the forest. This journal has clues to a local mystery, which they must investigate. 
their friends join in the unraveling of said mysteries. The best part about the show is that during the episode credits, a cryptogram appears. The viewers then can join in cracking the Gravity Falls code. Series of episodes oh, use different her? cryptograms. Episodes 1 through 6, for instance, use the Caesar cipher like you were named interacting. after Julius Caesar, who applied it in his written communications. The Caesar cipher replaces letters with different letters, a fixed number of spots further along it in the alphabet. For example, it might shift left four letters, so that letter L of the secret message would become H in the cipher text. Gravity Falls kicks it up a notch by using the at bash cipher in episodes 7 through 13. The cipher is a monoalphabetic cipher in which the alphabet sequence is reversed, with the last letter becoming the first. For instance, A would be coded as Z, B would be coded as Y, and so on. In the next episodes, 14 through 19, Gravity Falls went a step further and used the A1Z26 cipher. This is a type of encoder and decoder, a substitution cipher. I don't know who had time to do all this, man. God damn, bro. I was just watching this show. Each alphabet letter <laughs> is replaced by a number, 1 through 26. So in this cipher, A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals Who's 3. Who's solving this on way. cable television? That's what I'm saying. To Z equals 26. True hardcore They are separated band, by a symbol, like a dash or a space, so that 2 and 6 cool don't know, get confused though. for 26 and so on. Gravity Falls. I guess it's secret. It's secret for a reason, Chet. It's secret for a reason. Come Episode on. twenty used a combination of all three ciphers, and the Nobody key fish on air cipher was used in episodes twenty-one through forty, also known as Quagmire the Third. This type of cipher uses an alternate tableau, with the okay, message bro. being encrypted and decrypted by an alphabet key. There's a passphrase involved, which is the code Who's word that really chooses columns this? in the tableau. The alphabet key places a random series of letters before the code letters, which makes the cipher hard to crack. The Shorts of Gravity Falls, known as the Dipper's Guide to the Unexplained, also flash- Oh my god, nigga, hurry up and get to the point. A little more complicated than little Ralphie's cipher in a Christmas story where he works weekly Logan, on cracking the that code problem. only to be told to buy some Ovaltine. Some of the secret messages cracked in Gravity Falls are innocent enough like the passcode in season 2 episode 1 which is caught in a jail cell which decodes to welcome back in another episode. The nah, too much yet for real, bro. Under Finally, but others are a little more sinister, a little too sinister for a children's show. Okay, if you to ask it. me. One decoded message at the end of an episode read, "The end of the world is closer than the end of the summer." Well, that's scary. Maybe it's time to build a bomb shelter. YouTuber Lootoons made some great videos on these cryptograms. If you're looking to dive deeper, number two, what's in? Was that it? Was that really it? The name. The Lion King had plenty of secret messages hidden in its imagery and in its songs. Most of them were pretty naughty. Man, I, uh, Lion King. This was my, this is my movie. As are a lot of hidden messages in Disney movies, but that's a whole other topic. One secret message in The Lion King has to do with the actual storyline, though. All that the character talk names here. in the story were not just true. I know, I can't lie, out of the 15, maybe like 13 or so, had been kind of like, ooh, that's, that's a shocker. Two of them have been like, ah, uh, nah, that's a stretch. Chosen at random, the original Lion King, Mufasa, took his name from the last of the Bagata Kings. The name also translates to the word king in the Montezoto language. And his evil brother Scar wasn't really called Scar. This was his nickname due to, of course, the scar he had across his Duh. arm. But Scar's real name is Taka. Taka in Swahili means filth or dirt. Sounds about right when describing him. Scar's jealousy and anger led to him taking his own brother's life and trying to take his nephews too in quite a horrible way. Now, Scar was actually like the evilest villain out there, bruh. Stampeding like. seems like a pretty dirty, filthy thing to do to someone, but I suppose you could argue that Taka, aka Scar, 
became who he was because his parents named him thusly. If your parents named you Filth and your brother King, it's safe to say that might have done some serious psychological damage. That's not to nah. say Scar was justified in turning into a homicidal dictator. But I, I can't lie, El Paris though. Who's naming their child Filth? Crazy. Later, but it's just something to think about. Before we get to number one, I right, drum roll on number one. And I hope you're enjoying my narration. No, your narration is kind of creeping me out, buddy. I'm not gonna lie, this is you. I'm not sending no hate to you, but damn. Come on, bro. Your person. So if you're generous enough to be notified of one, um, literally, some fans think there is a secret message in the name of the show's main setting, Bikini Bottom, which has also been called Bikini Gulch and Bikini Bottomshire. The city's population is around 538, but most of them are total weirdos, so it begs the question, why are they so wide-eyed and weird? Why is the sponge even walking and talking in the first place? Well, one fan theory has tied Bikini Bottom to Bikini Atoll, a real atoll in the Marshall Islands, after the Second World War. For more than a decade, starting in 1946, over 20 nuclear devices were detonated in Bikini Atoll, some of which were let off underwater. A bit creepy, but this might explain the mutated characters in Sponge Bob Square Pants. Who came up with this theory? And where and from what from? Pants and their crazy eyes and even crazier personalities. Sometimes fan theories seem like they could definitely be spot on. Thanks for checking out. Nah, there was no evidence to that whatsoever. That's just complete yep and speculation and a theory. There is a theory, man. Nah. Nah, nah, I ain't having that one. Nah, nah. They sold with like the, the last three, the top three they sold. How do you sell on the last three? Retention. They they put the best ones at the start. <laughs> that's how they got that's how they get you, man. That's how the YouTube videos are, man. 